Hey, welcome to J Labs. So this is a very exciting point in my life because ever since I was 13 years old, I've wanted to do electronics and robotics and stuff like that, or as much as automation as you can pull off. Like you watch those videos of like um, Back to the Future, Doc Brown's house and uh, Honey Shrunk the Kids, the, all the automation from Wayne Selinsky. I've always wanted to do that. The only thing holding me back is the code. Uh, real quick history from my angle is I've been into ham radio and electronics since I was 13 years old and the mechanical side is no problem like soldering, putting wires, wiring it up, looking at stuff. It's just uh, the code has been holding me back forever. I tried to learn it, gosh, five to seven years ago, multiple times off and on and I just run out of patience. So with ChatGPT or Copilot or like any of the AIs out there, I've been using ChatGPT here you just type in your idea, you tell, pretty much if you have a basic understanding of electronics and electrical stuff, you can say, hey, this is what I got, this is what I need. You just type it in, it'll be like, sure, no problem, you hit copy, and then you just paste it into your IDE. In this case, I'm using MicroPython on Thani for my uh, Pi Pico. And what we did, just to have some fun, just to test things out, because you know that's always fun to have a little bit of progress without doing too much, right? I hit play. And just to try these, these have all been in packages for, gosh, since 2017. And I'm, as you can see, it's been sitting around for a while. I've had uh, Raspberry Pi 4 and Arduino, and I have tons of Picos and these little tinies. And now I finally get to use them, which is awesome. So my dad and I were talking, coming up with a business for robotics and automation. You know, Jacob's Lab, pretty much, is what we're going with simple. I've just noticed a lot of people that are successful out there, they have something to do with their last name and something simple. So we're in a lab, we have a bunch of 3D printers, mechanical stuff, and um, our electronic side of things are just getting set up. But here's the first video of what we've been up to. So what I did was I pretty much just told ChatGPT that I have a joystick and I want the light to respond as you uh, input XY. So as you can see, we get feedback and we also have debugging as well. So you can see everything changes, really fun. <laughs> I didn't have to think about any code, I just did it in ChatGPT. And as I move along here, I will do my best to retain what it makes for me so I can understand. That's the biggest thing with this stuff. Some people can be like, oh, well, you know, the AI, if you run into huge problems, whatnot, you're gonna have a bunch of stuff to deal with. And yeah, I, I hear that, but this is just fun, like to be able to actually use your hardware and get everything put together. So this whole outfit here, this is the start of the back scratching robot that I've wanted to make for years. When I got this stuff, I'm like, I want to make something that's like a 3D printer, if you will. And what you do is this will have like either, the tough thing is you can do it all manual with a joystick or joysticks and buttons and whatever and have it programmable. Or you can use an ESP32 and have a web interface, so. I'm trying to just get the basics down with the Raspberry Pi Pico. So what that will do is you'll be able to program your back scratching robot by moving this around. Buttons on the little handheld, pretty much, that I want to create that will do speeds and whatnot. There's a bunch of options we can add, not to get into feature creep or whatever, but <laughs> the next step is, is we've got to get this wired up to the um, stepper driver. And from the stepper driver, we gotta get to the motor here. I ordered a bunch of parts, I'm missing some wiring. I could do it all manually, but uh, I'm gonna be more modular with breadboarding to begin with. So yeah, really excited. So what we did this morning was figure out AI and the Pi Pico real quick, which I've messed around with it before, but it's super simple, that was easy. Test joystick, which we just did. Get stepper drivers, motor's working. That's the next step, we gotta wire up the Pico into the uh, stepper driver and then the stepper driver into the stepper motor get the basic robot put together electrically. So there's gonna be, I think, oh, I don't know. There's gonna be maybe three to four motors total. I don't know yet. I don't know if there's, I, my brain keeps, you know how you wake up in the morning or you get going on something, you're like, well, I could add this or I could add that or I wanna add this later on. You just kind of keep spiraling. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but I at least need to get the, um, robot put together electrically, like at least two stepper drivers going. So get hardware framed together. That's something I gotta figure out. I, that's something I've been wanting to do forever is like 80-20 or whatever, 
working on that, putting that together. It's not, it's not really hard, it's just expensive. So work on final programming and features. So that's where either I wanna switch over to ESP32 or something that can run, run a web interface and all that good stuff. But this is the progress. It is February 13th, 2025, and we, got, we have our first signs of life with the Pi Pico, and we'll update you with videos in the future with fixturing up stuff. And I absolutely love, one thing I love doing is uh, fabricating your own PCBs. There's like jclpcb.com and PCBWay and all that. That's gonna be really fun. I love that stuff, right? Uh, like drawing up your own boards, getting them and putting it all together where it looks professional. Oh, that is some of the best stuff ever. But yeah, thanks for catching the video. There's more to come. And I just wanna do a lot of automation. That That's huge. Like. I really love this uh, smart bulb LED stuff and smart switches and all that. I know it's not going to help you much in, in the <laughs> when the EMP goes off eventually and you're, you're in the dark, but this is just so fun. Automation, robotics, having things done for you, and also learning. That's the biggest thing with ChatGPT giving you all, all the information you need to have fun like in a matter of minutes. So you guys stay curious, keep playing around, and we'll catch you in the next one.